Hi, I'm back again and I am thinking that hopefully on the pink we've got enough texture by now. My next thought is once you've done the texture on this one, this one, this one, um, i trying to think the others, do they have texture? Maybe a little bit on this one and a little bit on the white ones too. So again, you're just mixing a colour that's slightly darker on the one you're working on and slightly lighter. So with the white, it's an interesting one because you can mix, if you can do it, I don't know if this is fitting on the video, so let me pull that down so you can see the white bit. On the white, mix a pure white, um, perhaps paint it a little bit darker. I can't really see on your picture. I think you've gone light gray. So mix a white and mix a slightly, slightly darker than it is at the moment tone um, in the gray and that will work for the white ones. So that's how we do texture. Let's move on to the shadow technique that I like teaching students to create some depth in and around your flowers. So I'm going to try and keep this simple, but I'm gonna show you at the same time. We're going to work on pushing backwards this green flower here. In the image you that you're working from, you will see that there's this amazing shadow here. Okay, it's really quite dark. So I'm gonna show you how to do a shadow like that in the picture. Now we go a darker tone than the color that we've got at the moment. So I'm thinking you've got a green here. So what I'm gonna do, because blue is, um, part of uh, we can use to make green we're going to use a blue so I'm going to show you very easily what I'm going to do I'm going to get my dark blue on my paintbrush and I'm going to you can see where the shadow is going here we're going to put the dark blue into here we're going to paint it in like this and we're going to paint the shadow stops about here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to paint down to here. Now this is just masking tape, so it doesn't matter if I come off the edge of that. I'm painting wet paint where I see the main shadow. Now you'll see it is very bluey. You could mix up a dark green if you prefer and use a dark green here instead of the blue. I'm using the blue mainly because it's gonna stand out and you're gonna see it a lot easier. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wash our brush out so our brush is completely clean. Okay, then we're going to use the clean brush with water on here. We're going to put the water here over the green bit, but we're not going to touch the blue yet. Paint the water away on the green bit. Now you'll see it's all waterproof, so it's not going to come off. Make sure it's dry first, obviously. So what you're doing is you're painting the water, the wetness, and then just when you've painted water up to the edges of your blue, you're just going to touch the edges of your blue there. Okay, I'm just dabbing it on the edges and you'll see that it's just spreading a little bit across naturally because the blue was very wet. So what we're doing there is we're just touching up the edges so we get it to blend really beautifully. Okay, that's a really good basic shadow technique. I hope that's come out quite well on the video. I'm not sure though, so I'm gonna move this around just a little bit. So you can see, that's quite a good shadow. Now, I would look at that and think, not so sure about the blue. So when you do it, you can use black if you want. I mean, let's maybe go in and use a little bit more black over the top of it and see what that does. But be careful using black. You're better off using a dark green, even if you mix it with a tiny little bit of black. So let me just put a little bit of green and black together see if that gives you a nicer color result. You know what? It won't matter if you do the blue first because if you don't like it, dry it off with the hairdryer and try repeating it again, going over it with the black and the dark green. Now let's do the same steps again, but it's still wet. So it's gonna be the same steps, but slightly differently. So what you can do is you can go in with the stronger, darker color. This is a black mixed with the dark blue. Okay, then we're going to wash our paintbrush out. This time, because there's lots of water on here, we're just cleaning the brush and drying it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in where it's still wet and we're just going to paint very gently up to the edges 
of that to make our shadow. Now, if we look at the shadow, what the shadow is doing is it's almost coming out. So we're just pulling it out to where it comes to, like that. Okay, we've got this really, really excellent little shadow. All of a sudden, the pink flower looks like it's in front flower, sorry, biscuit. <laughs> getting confused. The pink biscuit looks like it's in front and this biscuit looks like it's behind. Now you're going to do your texture work before you do the shadow techniques. Um, do your texture work, dry it off, then go in with the shadow work last when everything is dry. Now let's look at this shadow here. You have painted this shadow in on your painting really well but let's go a little bit further and make the shadow a little bit stronger here okay we're going to make it a bit stronger here. So using again use the colour that you've got in the biscuit the pink and we're going to mix up a dark pink. I'm going to go quite dark with this so I'm going to mix in with the dark pink a tiny little bit of black but when I say tiny little bit of black I mean tiny so let's go in and um, oh, we're going to do this shadow here forgive me it's actually going to go around the pink but it's going to go on the orange so I'm, hopefully I'm not misleading you we're going to go in with our dark orange so orange darkened I'm darkening it with a little bit of green would you believe any color that darkens it a little bit is good. So what we're doing is we're going around the pink on the orange flower, like so, okay, like that. Then what we're going to do is add our water here, okay, because this is all dry. Paint up to the edges of the wet shadow and then just run your brush. Now I'm just doing left to right, left to right. I'm going to slow it all down for you so you can see that I'm just doing that. Okay, and you get a nice little shadow come out. Now here we need the shadow to be black, so obviously we're going to go over and do that. Bit black again, a little bit black. If you want to make your shadow, now I've used dark orange here, if you want to make your shadow stronger, you can go in with, again, I've got a little bit of dark brown here on my brush. When it's wet, you can just pull it around a little bit with a slightly darker colour. And because it's wet, it should either naturally blend or repeat your process again. Wash your paintbrush out, dry it off, and then just on the edge of the darkness, you're just going to work along very gently. Okay, very gently, you'll see how gentle this is on there. And again, the pink biscuit is in front and the shadow is behind. It's a very good technique to use a shadow. We can use it on, let me point to the areas we can use it on. Looking at your picture now, we can use it here. So we can use it here. So again, let me just do that quickly for you. Now it's yellow, but again, I'm going to use a little bit of the dark green because um, yellow is a very hard colour to get dark. So I'm just using a bit of the green. Wash my brush out. Sorry, I'm in shadow. Wash my brush out using the water away from it. You always paint on the biscuit that's behind, okay? The one that you want to bring out a little bit. So there you go. Just getting that, touching it, shadow formed. How about a shadow up here on this bit? Now in here in your picture, you've got that shadow and it's quite strong there. So how about we do this shadow now? You can do it on anywhere that you see a shadow on your original picture. So Hugo, I'm just gonna do this last one and then I'm gonna throw this back to you, this video, and hopefully it will explain texture, which we worked on earlier on some of the biscuits, I keep wanting to say flowers, and the shadow technique. So let's clean our brush off, add our water here, okay? Add our water here, but don't touch it yet. Oops, I touched it a bit soon. And then when your water is really close, oh, you can just touch the edges of the dark green or dark brown, okay? 
because this is sort of a brownie. You've done this one a brownie colour already really well. But you're just going to either use a green or a brown because it's a brownie, greeny colour as far as I can see on the picture. So that's your shadow technique. I'm going to leave it with you to look at your picture and you can see where all the shadows are. And remember, you're always painting on the biscuit that's in the background. So you're going to paint this shadow here and it'll make this one stand out. So you're looking at this colour and you're going to go darker around it with your strong paintbrush colour. Anyway, I've said it enough so you know what you're doing. I'm now going to leave you to it and good luck. Your painting is going to go from good to great. Can't wait to see you soon at class. See you soon, Hugo. Bye.